You're right. I have always said that the most important thing is being with the man that you love. But Whitney, that doesn't include your own brother. Teresa, we wouldn't be sleeping together, okay? It would be a strictly platonic relationship. Do you really think that's possible? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, well, you can forget it, Whitney, because I, I know you love Chad, and Chad loves you. I mean, how long do you think you guys can resist making passionate love to each other if you're living in the same house? <sighs> Teresa, are you preaching to me right now as if your life isn't a total disaster? I'm not in love with my own brother, Whitney. No. No, no, you're not. I guess that's why it's my decision to make. And mine alone. So you haven't totally made up your mind. You're, you're not completely convinced that you're gonna live with Chad. Well, no, no, but I'm seriously considering it. Good. Because I'm gonna talk you out of this. Talk me out of it. Mm -hmm. You really think you could do that? Could I talk you out of being with Ethan? You killed him? Harvey uh, Payton, everyone freeze! Chief Bennett, thank God you're here. Get back. Both of you. Ethan. What happened? It was these guys. They're tearing up my club, threatening us. It was their fault. Self-defense. Of course, the servants will be here, and they're well trained to be invisible. But I won't always be alone. You mean Alistair? He's gonna come here to see you? Even though we haven't lived together for years, he still insists on saying he's my husband. So you're willing to stay here? and subject yourself to visits from Alistair just so Sheridan can be with the man she loves? Yes, Gwen. I would do anything to protect Sheridan's happiness. <sighs> Absolutely anything. God, this must be what Eve was talking yeah, about. Withdrawal. Oh my God. Oh, what? Oh, is she trying to talk? Oh, what is it, Mia? No, she's having a seizure. I'll get oh a doctor. Oh my God, Paloma. Oh my God. Shh. No. Oh.